Okay, thanks, Jenny. Um, we have two more lots of questions that we're going to tell you um, about today. Uh, the next one was a little bit about what, what were you aiming at in doing this assignment? What was the point? How, how did it fit into a science assessment generally in your subject? Jenny? Okay. Um, most common responses, well, actually, there's, there's quite a spread of responses here, um, but generic or graduate skills or attributes uh, certainly came up a lot, and that the interviewees also talked about this. We had quite a spread of responses to how much the assignment is worth. I've just highlighted the most frequent there um, was 11 to 20 percent. But also what I thought was interesting here is that we have a number of, uh, well, a small number, but, but nevertheless some participants talked about assignments that were worth um, either all or almost all of the, um, the assessment for that unit of study. So these were major assignments in these cases. Forty-nine uh, lecturers said that their assignment was uh, was compulsory, and for some it wasn't compulsory. In, in that case, it was usually a, a choice of different different types of assignments that students could do. Thanks again, Jenny. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the last uh, um, bit of the uh, uh, quantitative data that we got from uh, this survey. Uh, and that was around uh, the marking processes that people were using to actually um, deal with the work that students produced. Sorry about that, we were just playing with a, a two, two people at the wheel here. Um, we found that um, people um, uh, responded with a range of uh, techniques for marking, um, uh, comments as well as marks by a good two-thirds of the respondents, about half of them using rubrics, some people marking in stages, uh, some giving uh, a shared mark for everyone in the group. Interestingly, that that 15 is not a big number considering you know the collaborative um, options and the collective intelligence spirit that one might expect from the social web. Uh, there were some um, other techniques there that people reported um, uh, originality checking, making sure that you knew uh, through some other means. Um, that the yeah, students were who they said they were, and so on. Anybody want to ask any particular questions? Oh, um, apart from the ones that Jenny's answering in chat. Any hands going up here? We'll come back to this a little bit when we talk about the qualitative data we collected from the uh, telephone interview. Um, we found that um, of those two-thirds who said they gave comments as well as um, uh, grades, that um, most of them um, were reporting that they gave various uh, types of uh, feedback from confirming that the work was uh, acceptable right through to uh, diagnosing what might have been a problem that the student had in uh, doing the assignment satisfactorily. So quite a range of different types of feedback um, going on there in, among those um, uh, marking techniques. Before I go on, I see Bobby's asked the question about what did the others use if not rubrics. Well, Bobby, I think that's a very good question, and I um, I suspect. Um, they may have had uh, what we might call tacit rubrics, but they certainly didn't have anything that they described as such, um, which strongly supports the argument for uh, sharing more widely um, uh, what uh, good practice might look like. And just picking up on Monica's question, what about who marked the assignments? Yes, I um, skipped over that slide inadvertently. Um, at least um, two-thirds of uh, staff 
uh, two thirds of the respondents said that uh, one uh, staff member marked the assignment. I'll just pick that one back up if I can find it. Um, Forty people said that on, you know, it was a solo marking effort, which um, uh, I think is uh, interesting in itself. Um, Seventeen people were engaged in some form of team marking. There was some self-marking and there was some um, marking by other students. Any other questions? I'll just double check the chat and the uh, hands up before I move on to talking a little bit about the round table. I was just going to make a comment. This is Jeff here. I was just going to make a comment about, uh, I think, again, what your data is probably showing me is a, still a very traditional way of uh, going about assessment in terms of the marking. So even though this is using Web2 technologies, to actually get the students to do something, I think it's probably still a fairly traditional, safe uh, format for the, for, the, for the teachers who are marking this. And I think it's going to take a while before actually teachers move into different ways of the marking as opposed to getting, I think they're quite happy to get students to do things, but not always that happy to get themselves to move from where they're, they're more comfortable with. Spot on, Jeff. I couldn't agree more. Uh, and I think you know one of the things we're hoping uh, for from sharing some of this data, and uh, um, and we'll be certainly publishing them more widely as we go along, is to get people thinking about other ways of doing things um, that the technology may support and that may be more appropriate to the kinds of things they're asking students to do. So uh, moving on to just tell you a little bit about the uh, roundtable, and of course a, a number of you were there and active participants. Um, there were uh, 30 people um, from uh, among the teaching staff who answered the survey, as well as people with expertise in the assessment uh, like Jeff, uh, people with um, a great deal of academic policy experience like Denise Chalmers. Um, and uh, quite a range of universities and uh, academic fields of study were represented. And this question that you see on the slide here was really what the focus of that get together was. What are the issues? What are the opportunities? And how do we make sure that as we um, allow and encourage and enable academics to work with this form of student learning assessment that we maintain the um, uh, the academic values that we um, think are important. The um, National Roundtable proceedings are not actively used by the project at the moment, but they are uh, available in the wiki, the URL you see there, and you can access that by going back through these slides and picking that up. As a result of the um, findings from the survey,